Hello to everyone, I am Indurak, and today I am playing more Sally Face. So. Oh, hi, Larry. I don't remember the voice I gave that guy. Hey, Mabel. Or, wait. Oh, that was Larry talking. Whoops. Aren't you going to eat your lunch? My mom made me, my mom made me peanut butter and jelly again. I'm just kind of tired of it. Oh, I mean, if you're not gonna... Of course, you can have it, Chuck. Heck yes! Oh, good okay then. Call. I'm gonna stick around here first. Oh. What? Oh, I thought I saw something else. Okay. Maybe not. Oh, it's that bastard. I thought I smelled trash. What are you flamers up to? Get Ben Travis. Don't you have some sandwiches to attend to? You're lucky it's baloney day. Uh-huh. <coughs> Hi, Kim. We wanted to ask uh, about the baloney. Could you tell us where the school buys it from? Why? What do you want to know about baloney, eh? Something wrong with Kim's cooking? No, no, we were just wondering where it... Kids go and sit back to chairs now. No more question. Do you think we could just see the package, or...? No packages for you, just butts in chairs. Go on. Well, that was a failure. She always see... Oh, that was a... Oh, I didn't even, re I didn't even realize that was a lady. Whoops. Well, I mean, the voice, I think, is maybe still Lana. She always seems so unhappy. I wonder why he, why she stays here. It's like the kids make her sick or something. Dude, what if Kim is poisoning the lunches? I don't know if this town has room for another conspiracy theory. Though I guess it's worth looking into. Why don't, why, oh, sorry. Why don't you go see if you can sneak into the principal's office to look at the, her files? While you do that, I'll check in with Todd. All right, I'll see what I can do. No, I didn't know that was all it was going to take for me to end up by myself. All by myself. Hey. Hey, Sally Face. How's the detective work going? Not great so far, but we're still looking into it. You guys are wasting your time on this one. I'm telling you, this is good baloney. Nothing wrong with it. Everything tastes good to you, buddy. <laughs> she has a point there, Chug. Oh. Again, I'm not looking. I'm not like paying attention to what gender these characters are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In any event, I hope you're right. Probably not. What do you want? Good idle boy. Leave me at peace. I don't, I don't know what voice to give characters here. It's, uh, it's ridiculous. Alright. Call! To the call! What are we gonna do in the call? Built and bulletin board. Oh! Hello. Courtyard. Any luck? The teachers are all in the lounge. I'm waiting for the right moment to sneak by. Oh. Okay. Courtyard. I'm gonna not go there just yet. I probably will need to go there at some point. Boy room. <coughs> of course, there always has to be one urinal that's of a lower height. I mean, I guess that looks more suitable for me. Uh -huh. Okay, nothing. Nothing suspicious. Nothing suspicious in here. Man, I am so short. How am I supposed to look into the mirror? <sighs> I don't know. I better not. <laughs> okay. I figured it wouldn't let me. I didn't expect it to give me the option to interact with that door, though. It's locked. If I had a paper clip, I could get in. You know how to freaking pick locks? 
And yet you're such a somehow wholesome character. And yet you're you have an abil you have an ab an ability to freaking look at it, to sneak into shit, to break into shit. What? A picture of us from Halloween. That was so fun. I'm lucky to have such great friends. Oh yeah, there's Larry and what I forget her name. And what's that other guy's name? Todd? just some of my textbooks. Todd suggested I take physics this year, and I'm actually enjoying it. The world we live in is fascinating and filled with mystery. I've had this backpack since I started going to school here. It's a little worn around the edges. Hey, you know, if it still works, it's, it should be fine. I'm... that's... Oh. We usually use paper clips or to open our lockers. It's faster, and we don't have to memorize con... <laughs> Oh, that's why you said that, because that's just how you do it. If I had a paper clip, I could get into the other lockers. You don't have anything in your bag? Whoops, I... Ah, fuck. Damn it. There. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. The cafeteria. Cafeteria. There's a class in there right now. Oh. Okay. Oh, a paperclip could be. This would be a good place to look for a paperclip. 3.145926. Ah. No, 3.141592653589793232. Okay. I don't. I don't give a shit about pie. Unless it's cherry. Oh. Okay, there's no, uh, nothing prompting me to pick that up. I, I kind of don't like that when it's, it's how inconsistent it is with, like, the prompts to pick up stuff. Like, what the hell, dude? Science lab. Science lab. Albert Einstein! Ooh, sticky tag. <coughs> what the hell is that supposed to be for? Goal, help Larry. Okay. How the hell am I supposed to help Larry? I think I... Uh, quite a work. Find anything? Not yet. Were you able to get the bologna ingredients? No, not yet. Where's Ash? Okay, that's her name. She went to get some materials for me. I recommend she look in the janitor's closet. I thought she'd be back by now, actually. Be right back. Oh, I can't go anywhere else in here. Okay. Maybe I should just keep... As I walk, I should just keep spamming the freaking button. The interaction button. With everything. Courtyard. Oh, hello. Hey, what's wrong? The damn closet is locked! I need something to get in there to test the baloney. Oh, I need something in there to test the baloney. I tried to pick the lock like Larry showed me. But now my hairpin is stuck in the keyhole. It's jammed up good. Uh-oh. Janitor ain't gonna be too happy about that. Hmm. Could use some pliers to get that out, but... Yeah, they'd be in the closet or with the janitor, but he always leaves for lunch. I'll see what I can find. Thanks. In the meantime, I'm gonna try and get this out. Uh, hang on. I don't... Okay, I just have the freaking paperclip. Alright, let's go to the courtyard. Let's take a look here. <coughs> kind of too bad my high school courtyard never really looked this nice. And, I'm, and by nice, I'm, I'm mainly referring to the fact that this place has trees in its courtyard. I don't think mine had any. The teachers are in there. I need to find a way to get their attention without them seeing me. Maybe if I make a loud enough noise. Huh. Okay. Like what? What kind of noise? Boids! I can see. I can't see them. They must be hiding. How dare they? Okay. Hmm. Oh, I see something up there. Ah, look at that. I found a blow. 
Can I make some noise with this? <laughs> it's a tennis ball, so I don't think it's gonna break the window. Don't know if that'll... Huh? What was that? I don't know. It sounded like it came from outside. I don't see anything. I'm standing right there. Neither do I. Maybe it was those damn birds again. Oh. Ah. Oh. Nope. Never mind. Ah. No. Ah. Hmm. Well, then what do I do? Throwing that tennis ball just dis really distracted the teachers. Whoops. Hmm. Wait, did that distract them enough? For Lenny to... Larry. Len not Lenny. Oh, come on. Did you get past? Yeah, good thinking with that distract... Good thinking with that distraction, dude. I saw her file. Awesome. Anything to help us? Well, I had to book it. So I didn't get a really good look. If you could distract the teachers again, maybe I could just take the file. No, we don't want to draw attention to ourselves by stealing the file. All right, you're the boss, Sally, so what do we do? Give me a minute to think of something. Apparently, I'm very good at that. I'm a better thinker than the rest of these people. Well, except Todd. He's the smartest character out of all of us. All right, uh, what do I need this sticky tack for? Idea. Maybe I shouldn't worry about it. Oh, I don't even have to go to my inventory. Wait, whose is this? They have a picture of... They have that Halloween picture. Or is this Larry's? Okay, this might be Larry's. Larry's backpack. We've been through so much over the last two years. He's more than my best friend. He's family now. I don't know what I'd do without him. So does he just allow me to... <laughs> open his locker to look through his stuff? Well, I mean, I guess if, like, we're really close friends, I suppose he wouldn't be okay. I mean, I'm sure I don't do anything that he wouldn't like. I'm sure my character's not that much of a jerk. I mean, he's not really a jerk, to be honest. My character's often so polite. He's so nice. Larry's art stuff. He's so messy. In a way, I sort of admire that carefree mindset. He's an artist, dude. Do you expect an artist to have a clean room all the time? Huh? I'm not an artist. I keep my room clean. <laughs> I don't leave shit laying around on the floor. Or anywhere like that. <laughs> but then again, I don't know if that's actually how artists are. <laughs> I'm just... Like, uh, like, I don't know. Just uh, for creativity, you know, leaving messes around sometimes can, I don't know, whatever. That's one of my paintings. I was going to throw it out, but Larry insisted on keeping it. He said, great art doesn't need to be beautiful as long as it conveys genuine emotion. Oh, well, in fact. And I feel the shit out of this, man. I really do. <laughs> Jeez, Larry is freaking awesome. I think that's an older drawing that Ash made. Ash? Oh. She actually taught Larry a lot of what he knows now. I, I guess they've known each other for a long time then. I don't remember if I read that anywhere. We may have never become... We, we may never... We may have never became close if it weren't for Larry. I think become is probably the proper term for that. I don't know. So that's it. Okay. <clears throat> oh! I just select whichever locker. I, okay, I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna look into uh, all these other lockers surrounding these. Ash's locker. Oh. Ash make, makes these stuffed dolls. I think they're cool. She calls them little dudes. One of them kind of looks like me with the way the mask is that line on it little dudes very uh, creative name whoa this is a polar I was gonna say Polaroid but I wasn't a hundred percent sure 
Ash's Polaroid camera. She's always snapping pictures with it. This could come in handy. I'm sure she won't mind if I borrow it. You're not gonna take it? Oh! Okay. Ash's art supplies. Ash and Larry are such good artists. They try to teach me, but I'll never be as good as they are. It's okay. I have fun painting and drawing with them, and they never make me feel bad for not being good at... The... These people are just so freaking... They're so positive, man. They're so positive at times. Like, holy crap. These guys are clearly very good friends. It, it, it just disappoints me that I don't get, like, a lot of... That, like... I mean, th first, there's a fact that I forgot Ash's name. Like, they just sort of throw these characters at me sometimes. And I just don't know much about them. Like, as each freaking chapter goes by, I just, like... I don't know. Some of Ash's photos. One is older. An older picture of her and Larry. I'm so glad I met these two. And there's one of the two of us. Oh, hey, that's me. I didn't know she had this in her locker. You would think she wouldn't have you, one of her friends, in her locker? Well, I mean, Todd's not in there, so I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's... Ugh, oh, so ridiculous. Trying to navigate this stuff. Alright, let's get looking Todd's. Todd is never short on supplies for his inventions. I, know, I don't know how he does half the things he does. The guy's a genius. <laughs> potato battery. This potato light thingy was a science experiment that Todd showed in class. I'm surprised it's still going. How does this thing even actually work? The whole potato light bulb thing. Like, I don't even know how this... I'm not a scientist. I'm not remotely a scientist. I don't know shit about science. I just know that it creates medicine and shit. <laughs> How much of a surprise that Todd's locker is half filled with books? I really admire his passionate curiosity and hunger for knowledge. Todd and his boyfriend, Neil. They're always so happy when they're together. It makes me happy, too. Oh, so Todd is... Okay. Um, is that all the lockers I can look into? Yep. Okay. So, uh... Oh, hey, maybe you could use a sticky t I already had it, and you didn't just suggest it earlier? I thought I was supposed to look for pliers or something. Maybe you can use a sticky tag to get the pin out. It's worth a shot. <coughs> awesome! It came out, and I was able to get the door unlocked, too. I must have been close to getting it, with the, to getting it open with the pin. All right, now that I've got what I need, time to head back to the old lab. Cool. I'll meet up with you and Todd in a while. I have to figure out... I have to figure out a way to get the ingredients first. Okie dokie. So, how do... But, how do I distract the teachers? Oh, wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hang on. Hang on. I wonder... Ah, no. Nope. I thought maybe taking a picture from outside would get their attention and maybe they'd come out or something. I don't know. Uh. <sighs> okay, maybe I... Okay, maybe I was actually just supposed to do that. So that Larry could go back in again. Here. Use Ash's camera to take a picture of the files. Oh! Great thinking, dude. Ready when you are. <sighs> okay, gotta do the same thing again. Just gonna keep resulting in the same damn freaking dialogue. 
I don't see anything. Where's the bird? See the bird. Hey, what's up, dude? Did you get it? Dude, the file is missing. What? How can that be? No one else could have went in there without you seeing him. <laughs> Just jerked your chain, man. I got the picture. Oh. I almost thought he was serious. Oh, you butt nozzle. Ha, <laughs> score. Let's take a look at it. Kim has elephant elephant tiasis? What? I think I know what to do. I'll meet you back in the lab. And she is sensitive to it. Make sure the other teachers know. Tell Kim to stop feeding birds, the birds in the courtyard. Other teachers are getting annoyed. She wants a... What's wrong with birds? Come on. Get used to it. Suck it up! Alright. You got it, dude. Okay. Oh, uh, bye. Okay. Oh, wait. I have to get baloney from Kim. Okay. Or maybe I just... Huh? Huh? How do I do that? Oh, okay. Previous employment, amateur photographer. Oh. Ah, nope. Okay. Uh, shit. Oh! Take pictures of the birds, maybe? Uh, wait. Uh, shit. Where's... There it is. Oh wait, she said they were hiding. Or I said they were hiding. Hmm. I need to take a picture of the birds, I think. If I can find any. Uh... R. Okay. Oh, just the one? Okay. Okay, so now I have to show that, I think, to... Oh, I can get the lunch lady to leave? Ah. Hang on, is there anything over here? Can't believe Larry was able to get into the principal's office with all the teachers right next door. <clears throat> oh, front door. I can't leave, we need to... Okay. Before lunch is over. All right. Back to the cafeteria. Oh. Uh. Ah. Okay. Maybe I just need to talk to her. I got something for you. What's this? A photograph of a birdie. You take picture, eh? Yeah, I took it for you. Just a small thanks for the hard work you do. Oh, you're a sweet boy, Sally. Thank you. Uh, so I was wondering, can you tell me where the school buys the baloney from? Why are you so interested in baloney for? Oh, well, uh, my friends and I really like it and want to know where we can get some. It's local made by Miss pa Mrs. Packerson. 100% beef. She brings it from the farm once a week. Here, I give you some extra meats for bringing Kim nice photograph. Thank you so much. Okie dokie. Well, now that we did that, let's, uh... Let's go. Find that lab again. <clears throat> Hang on. Nothing else here? No, okay. Wait, so this is Mrs. Packerson? Yeah, no, or Packerton. Ah, sorry, I, I can't read. What do you expect? Alright, science lab! Oh! Got more baloney. Perfect! 
Jim said that it was, it's made by Miss... by Mrs. Packerton. Whoa, no way, dude. She lives in the apartment. How could she make her own lunch meats? Oh yeah, I forgot she lives there. I hardly ever see her. I've probably seen her in the building twice since I moved here. She tends to return at late hours. I believe that she keeps multiple jobs. Teachers don't get paid as well as you may think, so it's fairly common. However, when Miss Packerton is home, she makes quite a lot of noise. It's very peculiar. So what do we do? Should we ask Miss Should we ask Packerton about this odd side business of hers? Or are you boys going to do your whole detective thing? <laughs> I don't know. What do you what do you think, Sal? Let's do a little snooping before going to Packerton. I don't like the way this is playing out. If something nefarious is going on, it'd be best not to let Packerton know that we're looking into it. Agreed. Good call, Sally. Alright. Why don't you and Larry go check out Miss Packerton's classroom while the teachers are on break? Todd and I will finish testing this baloney. Exactly what I was thinking. Okay, we'll be back. So is she also a science whiz? <laughs> Alright, I'll need you to be my lookout. Wait by the door in case anyone comes down here. You got it. Damn, she keeps her desk drawer locked. Do you remember how to pick the lock like I showed you? Yeah, but there's no keyhole. A combo lock? Shit, dude. How the hell are we gonna open that thing? So let me take a look at it. Oh. <coughs> Got a frickin'... Damn it. Uh... You ever wonder what dinosaurs would think of music if they were still alive? I bet they'd blow their freaking mind, dude. I bet it'd blow their freaking mind. Alright, how the hell do I figure out the combo? Um. Oh, there's only six. It only goes up to six, so what could it be? Three, one, four, one? Oh, wow, I didn't actually expect that would work. Oh, I kind of thought that might be the combination, but there's actually a, a little square around those numbers up there. It's just, it's like just barely visible there. Got it open. Nice one, dude. What's inside? Just a bunch of math papers and... Hold on. There's a hidden compartment. What the hell? Man, there's some freaky stuff in here. What is it? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Little jars filled with what looks like spices. Maybe for cooking? Why does she have a bird skull in here? That's kind of creepy. Maybe it... Down our left one. Crystals, they're actually kind of cool. I wonder what Packerton uses these for. What is that? Strange metal object, similar to Jim's. Oh, this could be important. Hang on, let's take a look at everything else here first. It's a Bible, the book is really old, but there isn't anything special about it. Okay. A bunch of papers with random notes and symbols scribbled on them. Looks like they're written in another language. Can't make any sense of it. Maybe she's an archaeologist. Mm, okay. I wonder if those symbols are important. I don't know. Alright, let's take this. There's another one of these metal boxes. Like the... <gasps> Shit. What? It's happened. Is it happening again? Yeah, I... Oh... What? Um... So, what? Um... I... Uh, okay, I, I'm very confused. Uh... I have no idea what that says. 
Are you sure you could just be dehydrated? You didn't need anything for lunch either. It's done. Huh? It's already over. But never mind. Let's go check with Todd and Ashley. Hey guys, we found some sketchy things in Packerton's desk. How are the tests coming? We're not. But we're not getting any signs of harmful chemicals or bacteria. However, I think we can all agree this is some that there is something peculiar going on here. Whatever it. Whatever it is, it's not. Let's not mention this to Chuck for now. Poor kid almost had a heart attack when they stopped serving meatloaf. Yeah, Asher's right. Let's keep this under wraps until we know for sure what's going on. Well, I guess we know what we have to do now. Damn, I'm gonna miss the action again. I have to watch Ben until my parents get home. Maybe I can help out after that, though. Later that day. <clears throat> oh. I'll need a few minutes to get it ready. That's cool. I have to take care of something first anyway. Okay, let's meet in Tom's room once everyone's ready. Yes. Or, yes, perfect. Cool. Alright, now we're back in the apartments. Oh! <laughs> hmm. Good evening, Sally. How are you this fine day? Hey, Mr. Addison, I'm good. How are you? I'm swell, young sir. Do you like the new sign? I love it! Thanks to you and Larry, it almost feels like I have my own little tea house now. I do miss giving out my tea to tenants. However, I simply couldn't af I simply couldn't afford to keep up with that. I'm glad you like it, and I think it's totally reasonable to charge for the tea. Everyone understands. That's wonderful to hear. Any new tenants? I'm afraid not. Though we have we do have someone coming to look at a room next week, so hope is on the horizon, I suppose. I'm sure you'll you ah, I'm sure your luck with will improve soon, Terence. And if there's anything you n ever need help with, don't hesitate to ask. That's very kind of you, Sal. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. Goodbye. Good day. Jesus, you're so nice. Stop being so nice. <laughs> okay. Mail. Henry Fisher, Henry Fisher, Henry Fisher, junk, junk, junk. Oh, hey, Sal Fisher. There's a letter for me. Hmm, no return address on it. That's weird. It's an empty envelope. What the heck? How suspicious. Okay, there's nowhere else to go here, so. <clears throat> All right. Ro Mrs. Rosenberg. Ah, you're still here? Hello, dear Sally. You sound tired. Are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm quite fine. Just a bit distracted by my thoughts. You know me. Did you finish that book you were reading? I did. You seem to be enjoying it. What's wrong? Did You didn't like the ending? Most story endings are a lie we tell to ourselves to create a false sense of hope. What do you mean? There are no happy endings in real life, Sal. We all get the same terrible ending. Death. You can't know that for sure, Rose. And even if that were true, doesn't that make life even more precious? It's... It's our one chance to shine as brightly as we can before the long night claims us. That's why I try to live the best life I can. Just in case it's the only one I get. Not for you, my dear. Not for you, my boy. Huh? Oh, never mind, child. I admire your optimistic view of life. It's something I had lost long ago, I'm afraid. Take care of yourself. Oh, I can't talk to you anymore. Okay. Let's, uh... Yeah, what do you want, Sal? I just wanted to see how you were doing. I may be old, but I can take care of myself. Thank you very much. <laughs> Okie dokie. <coughs> Alright, let's give up. Alright, let, let's go down to the basement first. Ah, 
tug ain't there anymore. Uh, can't, can't see, look at anything around here. Oh, hang on. Is that on the floor? Okay, it's nothing. I thought maybe it was something. I don't know. All right. Huh. Still empty. <laughs> Are you ever going to fill that? Come on. <coughs> How's your mum doing, buddy? I think Larry's in. I think Larry's in there, hon. Uh, Occupado, dude. Okay. Uh, oh. Hiya, Sal. How are you today? I'm okay. How have you been feeling? Didn't the doctor say to take it easy for a while? Oh, I'm just fine, sweetie. Don't you worry about me. Besides, we've got problems with the plumbing that need my attention. Mr. Addison has enough on his plate to worry about. I can't keep lit lying around all day. Is there anything that we can help with at least? Dude, don't bother trying to talk sense into my mom. You know she's even more stubborn than me. Oh, hush, my dear... Oh, hush, my... My little lair bear. <laughs> mom, don't call me that. <laughs> oh, you'd love it. Anyways, I appreciate your offer, Sal, but I can handle a little plumbing work. It's really no problem. Plus, moving around will help do... Will do me some good. If you say so, just don't push yourself too hard, okay? If you need any help, let us know. You got it, bud. Thanks, Sal. I am a nice person. Okay. Oh. Looks like Lisa got a bouquet of flowers from someone. There's a note. It says, get well, wishing you the best. Henry. Wait, Henry. Wait, wasn't that... Henry, wait, wasn't that my dad? Isn't that my dad? I don't know. I guess I have time to play a quick game before I... Oh, the game is missing. Hmm. How strange. <clears throat> Ugh. It's not a good time for that. I really don't care about this kind of music. <laughs> Wait, is there anything else to interact with? Hmm, blank canvas. Oh, what? I didn't know I could... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Dead potato is the achievement I just got. I didn't know I could interact with that. I wish there would be more prompts to be able to interact with stuff. But like, come on. Okay, let's go. Go up to the second floor. Come on. What do we got? Todd! <coughs> uh, hello. Hi, Mrs. Morrison. Hey, Sally. Are you boys off to another adventure? Something like that. I think that's just so wonderful. Life is filled with potential adventures and beautiful mysteries that are just waiting to be explored and experienced. You're totally right about that. Yeah, just gotta seize the moment. Though sometimes it's nice to relax on the couch after a long day, you know? Ray and I were just watching some television and then he passed right out like a little baby. Isn't he the cutest? Uh, sure, I guess so. But you guys don't have a TV. Yeah, isn't it so nice without all that noise? Uh, yeah. Well, I better be going. <clears throat> All the toilets are just... Ugh. Every toilet in this friggin' building. Just blech. Blech. Ech. Okay. It's locked. Todd! Oh, hey guys, what's up? Hi, Bob. Oh, I was talking to fish, right. Are you ready? Not yet, I'll be right back. All right. What? What's the new gadget? Oh, you weren't supposed to see that yet. It was supposed to be a surprise. What is it? 
Among other things, it's a portable amplifier with custom effects that can be used to upgrade your guitar. That's amazing, Todd. You are a genius. I can't wait to try it out. Unfortunately, you'll have to wait a while. There are still a few parts I'm waiting on in the mail. Besides, we have more important things to focus on at the moment. Right. I know my voice for Todd makes him sound older than he's supposed to be, but I, I'm i trying to differentiate the voices between the characters, so... Yeah. <clears throat> no one's home. No one ever did move to this room. I guess Addison is having trouble getting new tenants. Charlie's old place is still open to me. Okay. Is no one ever gonna friggin' move here? Well, I mean, I guess... I don't know. Okay. Still? After all this time, how much time has passed? Excuse me. Since, like, the end of the first... Epi the first chapter, or episode, whatever it's called again. Are they episodes? I don't remember. Alright, let's go to the third floor. <coughs> David. Oh, oh, I can just go in. Okay. Whoa, okay. <laughs> it's Ali. Hey, Sally Face, what you ends up to today? Hey, David, not much. Just got home from school. I thought you were on break. The college students are on break right now, but our break doesn't start for until the end of the month. Go, oh, gotcha. How have you and Sarah been? Jano, I don't know what the hell. Just a couple of as happy as can be, right, babe? <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Don't make me blush in front of our friend. <laughs> Love you too, babe. What? Oh, what's that? Yeah, so we've been having some trouble sleeping anymore. It's funny, but I think it's because the those college kids are on break. Yes, we kind of got used to the noise they make. Well, they only have a couple more days of break, so everything should be back to normal soon. That's great news. Great news indeed, Sally. Uh -huh. Okay, then. Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, that's a little weird, but okay. You do you, dude. They're on break this week. <coughs> so. Oh, hello, Chuck. What's wrong? I hear I'm hearing I keep hearing creepy noises. Like what kind of noises? They have all creepy kinds like scratching and moaning and stuff. Maybe it's just some mice in the walls or the building creaking. It's an old building. Mice? That's not any better. I bet it's nothing. You wanna hang out with me and the other guys? Oh no, it's okay, thanks, though. I can tell you guys are up to something again. Last last time I came with, I couldn't sleep for a week. Oh yeah, I was supposed to tell you, Megan said she's sorry for scaring you. Oh, okay, you... <laughs> you took your other friends to meet her. Okay. She's very sweet once you get to know her, but you kind of bolted right when she came out. I know, I mean, it's my bet she's nice. I tried, it's just too scary. Well, if you don't want to be alone, you're always welcome to hang with us. I don't like Sally Face. Why are you standing there? I'm waiting for my parents to get home. They should have been back already. Is there anything I can do? A guy ate chocolate. Chocolate always makes me feel better. No, sorry, I don't have any. Maybe I can find some. Oh! Okay. <clears throat> Hello? Is anyone home? Huh. I could have sworn someone lived here. Wait, do I have, like, my... No, I do not have... Wait, what is this? Oh, key card. Oh, meet in 202. Well, I'm gonna take a look around first, though. Wow, it's a completely bare... There isn't even a freaking stove or fridge or anything. It's just completely empty. 
what's the point of this room? <laughs> Why can I even go here? I don't know. Maybe I have to go. Maybe I have to go here later. At a later point. For something. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, that was the third floor, right? Oh yes, it is. Uh, uh, I just looked at the number up on the top. <clears throat> it's my apartment. Where's my dad? Where be my dad? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Gizmo. I didn't realize you were in here. <laughs> That <laughs> scared the shit out of me. So, I had to go to work, go into work again tonight. I'll be home late. There are some leftovers in the fridge if you don't eat with Lisa and Larry. I'm sorry I haven't been available much lately. Maybe we can go to, maybe we could go do something this weekend. Love Dad. Well, at least he's, well, I mean, at least he's trying to be a, a good dad. Even if he's out working a lot, not spending a lot of time with me. But, well, he's trying. Oh! Super Gear Boy! Oh, okay. I was wondering if I had that, but I didn't. Teacup! Ah. I'm probably gonna need some money, though. For that tea. <coughs> I don't know if I have any anywhere. <coughs> something under the bed. I was wondering if I could look at that. What is that? It's an old photo of Mom. I thought Dad threw them all away. Hi, Mom. I miss you. I hope you're at peace. Why did the music stop? There's a handwritten note on the back. Henry, you are my sunshine in the darkness. I can't believe we're going to have a little boy. I'm so unbelievably happy. Everything is perfect. I love you always, Diane. Oh. Okay, yeah, he put it back. I figured, okay. Yeah. I thought he was gonna... I thought I was gonna keep it, but... Yeah. Oh, okay, it's just gonna... Be, okay. Okay, that explains why it, the music went silent. Okay. That makes sense. Dad's computer is on, but I don't know his password. Maybe I can figure it out. Henry Fisher. How, can, how the hell am I supposed to figure it out? Unless... Five, 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 six. Okay, let's not do that. Um, wait, maybe... Hang on. I wonder if there's something on here. Something else here. <coughs> Uh, nope, nothing. Okay, there's got to be something then. Oh, ah! I keep freaking doing this shit. All right. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's just another pillow. Okay. I thought it looked like a folder or something, a file folder, but it's just it's not important. It's just pillows. Uh, so how do I figure out the password, or passcode? Hmm. There's gotta be a clue somewhere then. Okay, nothing. Alright, I don't know. Uh, unless I have... Lisa gave me, I can, oh, okay, that's what that is. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was like the, okay. Whoops. Oh, wait, no. Shift. Shift is what does that, okay. I wonder if I have a ghost in my bathroom. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. that's not where the bathroom is. I'm, ah, damn it, I'm so dumb. <laughs> <clears throat> oh no wait my cat's in the bath okay never mind i can't do anything with that hang on i wonder if it's possible to find something in any of these 
in, every, in any of our rooms. Nope. Like maybe there? No. Okay, there's nothing. Well, I don't know what the password is. And I don't know where to find it out. I guess, whatever. Oh! Wait, what? Oh, hello. Yo, what's up, little bud? Not much, just a typical day. That bad, eh? <laughs> How have you been? Everything is straight, my man. I can't complain. I'm just making friends with everyone in the freaking building. Business is great. What is that you actually... What is it that you actually do? I sell crack cocaine, huh? Oh, huh. <laughs> that was my reaction. <laughs> now nah, I'm just fucking with you, bud. When my granddad passed, he left everything to me. Whoa, was he a millionaire or something? Nah, but it was enough money to start up a little business and I, I had brewing in the noggin. I tripled that money within a year. From there, the company just kept growing. Now I barely do anything, just show up once in a while to check in and do meetings and shit. That's about it, though. It's pretty tight gig. Tw 25 and practically retired. Seems like you worked hard to get there, though. You better believe it. Busted my ass up until the things until things took off. Just wish my pop was here to see my bit my success. I bet he'd be so proud of you, man. That's a huge accomplishment. Not many people could pull off. Thanks, old bud. What? Everyone is so. <laughs> Despite everyone's appearance, like, a lot of people are just so nice. It's frickin', it's frickin' cool. What's with the safe? I don't trust banks with my money. Or any big corporations, really. You Don't you own a big corporation? Well, yeah, but that's different. That belongs to me. 25 and owning a whole company, man. I would think that would take a lot more years to, like, become such a big success. <clears throat> Although I... I don't know. Whatever. Why do you live here? I mean, you could afford to live anywhere. Why live in this cheap apartment room with hardly any furniture? I got all I need right here. What I... What do I need a big old house filled with fancy things? What? What do I need a big old house filled with fancy things? That's not correct way to structure that sentence. <laughs> Can't take that shit with you when you're dead, right? It's just extra weight weighing you down. I like to lay low, live my life doing what I like. Go wherever, whenever. No strings attached kind of lifestyle, you feel me? Yeah, I do. I think that's cool. I don't know what I would do without my TV and video games, though. <laughs> Well, you gotta do... Well, you gotta do you, you little bud. Everyone's different. This, this feels like just... I... If only, like, more people in real life were this nice. <laughs> like, seriously, man. Isn't that just completely blocked off, huh? Oh, right, I removed the... Okay. Oh, okay, what do we got here? What do we got? Oh, hello. Hello, Sal. Hey, Miss Sanderson. Mrs. Sanderson, how are you? I try to keep myself busy, otherwise I'll lose my mind. I fear that I will never be able to leave these dreadful walls. You still haven't seen any bright light or anything? Unfortunately, no. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, though. It's much more bearable here without that horrible demon running around. Just, it's just so terribly grim, devoid of hope. It's kind of hard to explain. I'm sorry, I wish I could help more. Todd and I have been doing a lot of research, but... Hold on a moment, love. Yes, right here, talking to me. Okay. Sure. Yes. Okay. I understand. I will. What? 
Oh, I suppose you're talking to someone in your other, um, dimension, in your ghostly dimension. Sal, I meant to give you something. What? Who were you just talking to? I apologize, sweetheart. I've got to go now. Please take care of yourself. But... Oh, okay. This is so, this is kind of weird, but it's an envelope with my name on it. Huh, it's empty. Just like that other envelope I got. Did you send me this? Did you send me that other envelope? <coughs> so, I can just talk to ghosts and just have, like, just natural conversations. Huh. Okay. That's kind of interesting, I guess. No one lives here. Still. Alright. Uh... Yeah, I'll go to the fifth floor and then I'll go look at that empty room on the third floor. Oh, wait. Okay. Nothing. Okay. <clears throat> I wonder if this is related to the skull in Miss Pack. Oh, Miss Packerton's desk. Maybe. I don't know. I kind of thought maybe it was just an archaeological find. Oh, I'm, I can go into this room? Where I saw a freaking eyeball peeking at me? There's an old newspaper clipping nailed to the wall. It's about a boy who shouldn't be alive who survived an accident that killed both his parents. The front page of an old newspaper, father and son go missing. It says they vanished without a trace, leaving the mother broken and alone in what was once a happy family home. Woman and her child abducted by aliens. Okay, this is to be one of those joke papers. Is there someone here? Oh! Who do I talk to now? Who am I talking to? Oh! A letter with my name on it. It's empty. Am I missing something? Unless you need like a UV light. Maybe that's a thing. I don't know. Maybe it's like, like I, it might be invisible or something. So I know, I remember from before. Whoa, where's that? That green ooze wasn't there before on that wall. I remember, like, earlier it showed Larry as a ghost? Like, did does Larry die in this game? Oh, man. <coughs> Batwoom. Oh, wait, I think... Isn't this the room where I'm... Isn't this... this that girl's room? Oh, yep. Hi, Sally Face. Hey, Megan. Have you seen my daddy anywhere? Uh, no. Sorry, I haven't seen him. Oh. Maybe he's passed on to a better place? I guess that's not so bad. And everyone here isn't so scared now, too. Even Mommy started talking to me a little. That's great. I'm glad she's finally speaking to you. Me too. I hope that Daddy is happy, wherever he is. I'm sure that he is. Oh, I forgot. Mommy told me she would play hide-and-seek. I didn't go. I'll see you later, Sally boy. Sally boy. Okay, okay, Megan, I'll see you later. Have fun. Okay, so apparently there is some sort of other dimension, I guess. Even though she can't wear it now, she's happy to have it close by. Okay. <clears throat> so apparently there does seem to be some sort of dimension. Even with the spirit board, Megan never comes out when Todd and Ash are up here. I think she's just shy around strangers. Possibly. If you bring him by often, then maybe, I don't know, there's some way you can get her to come out. It feels more peaceful in the building since we got rid of that demon. <coughs> Just make sure there's nothing else around here. Nope. Okay. Let's go. And 
and that seems to be it. So now, now that I have my gear, boy, I'll go to the to that empty room on the third floor and uh, see if there's any spooky ghosties around. And then I actually have to end my video pretty soon. So yeah, once I once I do this, I'll go back down to where all my friends are, and then I'll end my video then. Oh, I figured there's probably something here. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, another letter with my name on it. What is it? Um, yep, of course it is. What is the deal? What is the deal with that? Huh. I have no idea. Wait, I wonder if I can get some tea from... From, uh, Mr... Uh, uh, whatever his name is again. <laughs> Addison. Oh, nope. Whoops. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what did he say? I'm supposed to keep it for refills. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, you're not going to comment on that? <clears throat> okay. Hang on. Wasn't it, was it in Todd's apartment where there was a ghost? Hang on. Let me go there. Let me go there. Let me see. I don't remember if that was the case. So, let's take a look. Oh, whoops. I was just wondering if I could talk to that dude. That was there before. Maybe it was not. Maybe it was in uh, Larry's apartment. I don't remember. Let. I don't. Let's try it. Let's. Let's see if it was. Oh wait, no. He's in the bathroom. Whoops. Never mind. I. I forgot. Unless maybe there is something around here. There's more green news coming out of there. What the hell? What's with that? I wonder. I don't know. All right, let's just go back to Todd's apartment, and then I'll end my video. <clears throat> I don't know when it auto saved, but I think I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to stop this video here. So that's the end of this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.